Hello everyone and I hope you're having a great day today. So today we are doing a modern house that kind of has some Eastern and Asian inspired objects in the side because I kind of imagined I wanted a Asian family to live in this house <laughs> and I, so I kind of thought it'd be fun to give it a little bit of a different influence to it instead of just doing a normal modern styled house so i thought it'd be thought it'd be good to start with a a nice base we've got some of it at an angle as well just just for fun because the sims does love using some of the building on angles and this is before all the patch day stuff and all that goodness that came out just the other day for me anyway because <laughs> i am having to pre-record this because i am i am away at the moment and i'm back next week so <laughs> i don't want to do anything while i was away so i was like <laughs> just do just do extra build this time so we're going to try and make it as fancy as possible super modern super high-end ish especially as we had machino or however you say it, pack come out on i think it was it, mom, it came out monday and i was looking at some of the, the screenshots and stuff for it and i was just like saw the other day this this new screenshot and i was just like damn it i need to buy this pack now because <laughs> i saw the the half moon windows the, the loft style ones and i was just like damn it i super want those windows because i love building that type of house but I don't know about the fashion. <laughs> it's it's not bad, but it's just like something that I probably wouldn't use too much in my game. But I may may have to invest just for windows and object stuff, especially as it's only a stuff pack one. And saying this now, I, when it, when the magic one comes out later later in the year. I might have to have that on Christmas. <laughs> Planning out your Sims buys before they even come out. I might have to might have to get the machino stuff so I can do some proper loft buildings. I haven't done one of those in ages and ages and ages. Not since all the city living stuff come out. That city living and machino is probably probably a proper pairing pack. And we get the new career as well, so that would be fun. We've now gone, we've now done our outside, have done the layout as well off camera just because it takes me a while and we are starting in a little reception room here. So we're going for a very black and white kind of base colours, very neutral and stuff but then we're trying to, going to try and bring in a lot of sort of a few more colour bits as we play some white, white sofas in <laughs> colour. <laughs> <laughs> and that through the objects and I use a lot of the the Asian inspired wall art and stuff to kind of bring in that things but also mixing with some quite modern stuff as well to kind of reflect the technology and all of that goodness that that part of the world brings us <laughs> So our little reception room is super classy and super super sleek. It's a good place to have your your guests around. <laughs> like I kind of played with this played with this build a bit after I built it, and this is a good place to when the welcome wagon comes, kind of get everyone to sit there, put the put the fruit cake on the on the coffee table, and have a little chat. And there's lots of windows in here using the the island living windows for this build because I do love them. They're better. I think they're better than the, the just the base game ones. I think they actually are the brown frame ones just to add a little bit of contrast to that black. But in here we have in our little diagonal section we have our little family TV, movie watching, a gaming room and it's super snug. There's only two seats in here. I do the family of five i think and i had one one in the social media career because she was going to be a gamer she had pastel hair from get famous and then i had a guy who was into his music and he looked super cool and his little glasses and stuff his cool hipster glasses and stuff and then he had a little girl 
we will see her her very kawaii bedroom <laughs> later on <laughs> but in here it's quite kind of nice and grey and muted so you can really enjoy what you're watching we also have some bright colors for some like the gaming stuff and some of the, the wall objects as well the bookshelf and stuff like that and we also have a fan in here so it gets super hot all your, all your rage quitting <laughs> when you're playing online then it can cool cool you down so for the the heating and stuff so in the the other part of the hallway we just have a few bits to put your boots and totes and all sorts of stuff like that and at the back there will be our, our fancy fancy bathroom also got all the live edit objects and all the hidden objects on as well because that is my new my new obsession <laughs> is just diving in that menu and having a lot of fun and our uh, in this end of the larger end of the the house we have where the the dining room and the kitchen are so it's kind of two separate rooms but we have a archway over the top so it's kind of kind of semi open plan semi split and we put in put in a bar and some fun objects in here so it's a very entertaining space i kind of wanted it so you'd in ha a good house for bringing people over having big meals and stuff so we have two tables two nice glass tables stuck together kind of have a lot big dinner parties and all sorts of stuff and <laughs> I forgot that we have the, the chairs from spa day that look super perfect I thought they would they would be better suited than the, the blue ones even though the blue ones do match our lovely glowing oh what's it called like a bar back in <laughs> the back of the bar here's a few of the the stuff we got for Chinese New Year as well just as little little items around the place just to give that, give that feel and we've got the dividers as well which I thought would be quite fun if you can imagine that they slide across the entire, entire way so if you are having a dinner party or anything they need to close off the kitchen from the, from the place that you eat <laughs> it'd be quite fun if they had a good like a bigger sliding door like we got in Island Living where it had like a closed panel but have a have one that goes all the way across. I think that would be super cool. Some really cool colours and stuff as well. I kind of changed this a bit. I wanted to use that nice big picture, but I thought it'd be quite nice to have some bookcases and I put a few different objects and stuff as well. Also I made sure to do the lighting properly in <laughs> in this build as well. Because they're, they're really the sort of people who spend a lot on some fancy some fancy lighting we've got lots of sculptures and stuff about some very modern modern pieces and i use a lot of bamboo in this build as well i use them in this room as some some window shades instead of using curtains so you can still get all the light through but obviously you don't have anyone looking in and on you as you have your have your dinner or your dinner party you kind of imagine that this family is like big big in the sims world and then one of the sims that i downloaded to be the dad i didn't realize that he was a super sim and had like all his skills unlocked so it was just like he was like in the top of like the business banking career so i was just like it was a perfect perfect home for that kind of sim and also using the island living counters as well but using them because I saw on a few videos that I've been watching that people have been using them as like little using them as island counters which I completely didn't think about so they look pretty cool as island counters and that's probably why we didn't get any island counters to go with it I mean I that we didn't get <laughs> didn't get the proper like thingies with them and then this is me remembering that we have we have the shelves <laughs> so I go in and put the shelves back in. I thought it would be quite nice in this build to have the, the cooker actually on the island and to have the little hood, hood floating above it and have the sinks on the back wall instead. It's quite a nice big kitchen and uh, it fills up the entire space. It also gets, have, lets us have room to have the coffee station, the proper like double coffee station 
which I don't normally get to do because normally it takes up two counter spaces. So normally you have to be have to have a pretty big kitchen for me to be able to fit in both both the coffee and the grinder. <laughs> I also did a fun little cookbook as well using the vampire stuff little spell book thing and kind of tried to disguise the fact that it shot through the, the actual counter so it's kind of a nice a traditional cooking book or something like that so while you're cooking in the kitchen you can look up look up the recipe and have it next to you also this room has some wonderful views into the very plain back garden <laughs> i didn't kind of do too much for this garden because i this lot was a little bit small <laughs> for the back garden but you can always put it on a bigger lot and make the garden look a little bit more fancy than ends up being in the downstairs we have a, a shower room <laughs> so make one using the the island living shower and some of the windows as well also using the the high-tech toilets from city living in all the bathrooms as well because I thought that would be quite fun and we're doing a very very black and white colour scheme in here we've also got the, the wallpaper from the the outsides as well in here which make it look, look very swish and we've got the slate tiles from the outside as well also got some laundry stuff in here as well which we'll see in a little bit we have a special special laundry room and some more bamboo and stuff as well but it's quite a nice functioning room especially as it's quite a big long space which sometimes you, when you're doing a bigger bathroom it's kind of hard to fit <laughs> like you put all the items in and then you're like I can't fit any more items in you just end up putting benches and stuff which you really don't need in the bathroom so this is our master bedroom and this is taking up the space partly over the the, the entrance way and the TV room as well. So we've got a ensuite in here and then we've got the, the dressing area and the bed itself using those tables, side tables from Island Living which always look to me like the, the little gates from Japan, the red ones. <laughs> so I was like, definitely have to use those, and they look really modern as well in this context. So they they were definitely used everywhere, and used a lot of the big paintings as well from the city living, which have the which have the Japanese theme as well. And I thought it'd be quite fun to have a TV in here. We've got a few. It's kind of nice a nice relaxing space as, as well as being. A bedroom so we've got one of the side bookshelves and we've got a few of the, the big ottomans about so you can sit down and relax watch TV and you've also got some of the nice views as well out onto the onto the world and we've got the, the nice draped curtains as well in the black and the the yellow the orangey colour which kind of came a nice contrasting colour in this bedroom it does work very nicely against the grey. <laughs> this is our little laundry and sort of seasons room <laughs> where we've got the, the decoration box and some of the utilities that your sims might need about the place, especially if you if you want to get a maid <laughs> and that's what I did. <laughs> I was like, uh, they wouldn't clean up they'd have, they'd have a maid <laughs> so they can come and do the laundry. Even though the, every room's got a laundry basket in it that needs one, it's still got two in there so if you did want to take the others out from the, from the bedrooms if you don't want to walk your sims to wander all around the house trying to find all the laundry there are two in there already for you to use and then in this room we are doing a little study area so it's kind of like a home office space especially if you're one of your sims is a businessman he can come in here and do his or business woman <laughs> as we should should say they can come in 
come in here and do do their work away from the rest of the family there's a nice place to sit and read a book as well and we've got a keyboard as well because obviously i wanted one of my sims to be into music so it's a nice a little space it's a few <laughs> things on the walls to promote learning and stuff like a little periodic table and then we've got jazz poster as well for the musical the musical side i will say i have one of the walls in the grey as well just because it was looking a little bit too white <laughs> and it was too grey otherwise so it was a good, good mix of colours and then we've got a nice blue rug just to just to liven it up a bit then this is the first bedroom so this is for 18 he is the one who was into his music so we're going for very like light woods blues and kind of getting really his personality here so I was trying to match match all the woods and stuff so it turns out to be a very cool bedroom it looks very a little bit like eerie <laughs> but it's, it's quite a fun fun room and try to get across some sort of personality as well you put some gaming posters up a few other things that they might be interested in and the, when I was like going through it I was like is it a show we have like a transformer thing and it's just like yeah we do <laughs> need to put that on the wall it's a few plants and stuff about a few robot-y stuff like future futuristic stuff and my game kept crashing as well because the save is getting ridiculous <laughs> so I need to I need to start a new save for my build worlds because it's getting getting a little bit crowded with all the builds kind of added some books and stuff to make it look like they're doing homework and stuff and they've got some void crossing stuff as well and some my sims kind of collectible stuff that they might be into and a few few angsty posters up on the wall which is always fun i'm trying to go through and look at like different collecting collecting stuff so i was trying to find some some cool items and then we have a, a big a big sea monster on the wall as well which is always fun and that is near enough it for this bedroom just finding i think i used the the koi cups on the floor because that was that was a pretty cool like floor painting or rug or whatever whatever it decides to be and then this is the the youngest child's bedroom so she is into her animals and sort of plushies and all sorts of stuff like that so her bedroom is pretty pretty full on and pretty colorful as well which is super contrasts with the rest of the house but it's it was a fun bedroom to make <laughs> especially all of the different stuff that you could throw in she's got her little oh, cherry blossom on her <laughs> on her mirror and then i re remembered that the the little frames that go against the wall had some really cute designs on it so i used a little hot dog one with the tap which sits on her desk which looks super cute and now that we can put picture frames on desks and different stuff that is going to be super cool especially for like let's plays and stuff she's got lots of unicorns and she's got robot on the wall as well and lots of different stuff to interact with I thought it'd be quite fun to have the, the little pet stuff as well because I thought she'd be should be into her animals and stuff, especially if she's got quite a few bits and bobs about the place. And obviously you have to have a little happy thing, and especially if she has a clock of it as well. So that is that's her bedroom. I don't paint the the walls or anything in that one just because of all the all the colours that's already in there so then this is our gamer girl bedroom <laughs> she is proper gamer girl with her dyed rainbow pastel hair so we've got more darker colours in here we've got one of the super super fancy like razor computers <laughs> on her desk we've also got the gaming stuff as well and obviously a flat screen tv so she can actually play the stuff and I've tried to make it a little bit more edgy and actually put some of the graffiti and stuff up on the wall and she has the piano version of one of the floor mats the, the rugs as well just to make it look super cool she's got a a stereo in the corner and then 
obviously I thought it'd be quite fun to have some signed gaming posters that she might have like taken part in <laughs> like esports that she's been in even though we don't have sims esports at the moment <laughs> which would be hilarious I mean I thought the bowling stuff light wool decal would be quite fun behind her little gaming station as well just to add some extraness to it everything in here is quite like dark colours and we've got some purples going on as well and some some neon -y stuff and obviously lots of blinds because this bedroom's got quite a lot of windows so and obviously if they're live streaming or anything especially as that's the section of the career that I wanted the social media career that I wanted her to go down <laughs> then she'd she'd have to sit there and get some get some good lighting and stuff. It'd be quite fun to have the the YouTuber thing as well in here to add some extra bits if you wanted to expand expand the horizons of the sim and then outside we just have a few lounges on the front next to the pool and then we've got a seating area as well down the bottom here we have like a family eating area so we've got a, one of the, the nice modern ta picnic tables and then we've got a barbecue area underneath the by the side of the pool which I don't know how quite would work especially it'd be alright if you had like a fire or anything because you could just like splash it and put put the fire out but I don't know how the logistics would be for actually actually having the barbecue over there and back here kind of changes a bit I take out the wall when I decide to put the koi carp pond in because I was just like we have to have a koi carp pond and it's a great object as well so I decided to completely change what what the, how the landscaping around this part was and use some of the the walls that are in the in the live edit stuff so I could place them right next to the actual edge of the lot. I'm using the blue version of the trees that I love to use in red as well, which I super like in blue as well. So I have to explore some more colours and making sure the the pond actually fits in with everything and making some lovely flower gardens everywhere and going for a very blue a purpley theme especially using some of the strange reveal like pre put together flowers and stuff so it turns out to be quite a nice full garden especially to on the front of the house it kind of makes makes the foundation look a little bit less stark than it, than it is without all the flowers and stuff and it looks very nice we also have the fountains outside as well which they kept trying to actually go in and swim instead of using the, the giant pool they have at the back of the house because obviously the sims would rather use the tiny little one <laughs> rather than the big the big giant pool that they already have but using this sort of mediterranean like patterned one which i thought quite fitted in with the house and using some of the stoppers the end bits as well i think it's supposed to be more mediterranean but i kind of associate that little plan with some, some eastern stuff as well and then I thought it'd be quite fun to have some skylights on the top of the roof. So I was trying to look for the the ones that came with city living. These little weird shelter things, which I thought would be quite fun to have on the top. And then I was trying to find the, the glass floor to put underneath them. <laughs> and it wasn't really like working at that. So I was trying to fit them in, trying to scale them up. And obviously <laughs> the, the objects weren't sitting where I wanted to. In the end I actually scale them all the way down, get rid of the, the little glass things over the top and just have it as a little four squares. So it actually fitted in line with the little wall we've got going on on the top floor and it kind of runs throughout the house. <laughs> then I was trying to find mailboxes and it gave me the, the the ones that are all run down and stuff so here are our screenshots also be able to see the the hallway and some of the bathrooms as well that i leave out because you don't need to see too many bathrooms here are is our meeting area our little tv room our bathroom downstairs bathroom all the other bathrooms look similar as well just to keep keep the consistency our kitchen our master 
bedroom, our utility area, our study, our teen's bedroom, our kid's bedroom, and the outside, and our gamer. <laughs> If you like this video, feel free to like it.